Hello and welcome. Uh, you can join me for a short session, a short routine for the lower back and a hip area. So let's just start on our back. Okay, so knees are bent. We're coming to come to a bit to a bridge pose, but first we bring our feet almost together, so quite close together. Palms of your hands down along the side. And then we're going to lift. So the feet are quite close, almost together, straight down from our knees. So we're going to lift three times to a bridge pose. So lift. And lower, placing your back, middle back and hips down. Let's do this a couple more times. Lift the tailbone first and the hips. And slowly descend back down and lift, lift again, inhale, lift and lower. Then take your feet wider apart to the edge of the mat and let your feet just point out about 45 degrees. Again, still down from your knees, feet down from your knees, but this time wider apart. And let's lift now three times. So lift the tailbone, lift the hips. And then slowly descend back down, rolling your spine back down. Lift again. And then lower with exhalation. And a third time, lift. And then lower. And bring your knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees and gently sway or make a circle with your lower back to the right and then to the left. And extend your arms away from your body and come to a twist. So bring your knees to the right side. You can always lower them down a little bit if it's too strong. Relax to the twist, like look the opposite way. And slowly bring your knees back to the center. If you just want to uh, be in a gentle pose, just keep the feet down. And then just bring your knees to the opposite side. So twisting from your lower back look to the opposite side and then slowly bring it back to the center now place the feet together and bring the knees to the side and reclining cobbler's pose so settle into the mat keep your spine neutral just rest your hands on your inner thighs. Bring your attention to your core. Engage your core. So as we were trying to short the distance from the pubic bone to the, to the rib cage, we're going to lift our upper body, your just the chest, arms lifting forward. So your low back stays down. We're just lifting the upper body reaching up with our arms forward and then release let's try this one more time release really contract your abdomen and then release then bring the knees together again knees towards the chest circle round and then just you can cross your ankles and rock to a seated posture. Sit in easy pose. Place your hands rather on your knees. We're going to follow with a cat and cow. So we inhale, bring the chest forward. Exhale, round the spine. Push forward as you inhale. Lift the chest and then exhale round the spine. One more time, lift the chest and then round the spine. 
And then slowly back to the center, raise your arms. Lace your fingers, press the palms up. And then just come to a side bend, keeping the chest open. Back to the center and then slowly release. Walk your hands forward. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat. So maybe some of you can just make a little movement. Not everybody's different. Or maybe you're able to come to your forearms and rest on your forearms. So stretching through the hips as well. And then slowly walking your hands back. Bring ourselves to the knees. On our forearms and come into a low plank, keeping our core really strong. Shifting the weight from the tips of the toes forwards. Keep the belly strong. And then slowly lower down. Rest on your forearms onto a sphinx pose. Keep lengthening through the spine, lifting the chest. And then slowly lower down. We're going to do extended cobra, so walking our hands a little bit further forward on our fingertips, keeping the hips, feet hip apart, press into our fingertips and lift the chest. And then lower. Lift the chest. And then lower. Rock the hips from side to side. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. And lift the cobra. And then pressing through the palms of your hands. Peel the body from the mat into your knees and then lengthen through the spine. Allow your hips to drop down towards the heels. Sliding your hands a little bit further back. And then as you're stretching through your arms, we're going to lift back to a tabletop, lower our hips down through a back bend and come back to onto our belly. For a locust pose, place the back of our hands on our low back. Rest on your chin and then just sweep your arm round and bring it forward as you lift the opposite leg. And then slowly lower, bring your arm back down, rest on your low back. And then just bring the opposite arm forward. Lift the chest and reach. Lift the opposite leg. And then slowly bring your arm back in a big circle. Rest the back of your hands on your lower back. With the next inhalation, bring your both arms forward. Reach and lift the chest. And maybe incorporate your legs, lifting the legs. Shallow breathing. Then slowly lower your legs, bring your arms back. Rock the hips from side to side as you rest on your chin or maybe rest on your cheek. Then bring your hands forward. Press through the palms of your hands. Lift through a cobra, back again through your knees. Bringing the hips down towards your heels. And then walk your hands towards the right side as far as you can, maybe on your fingertips, pressing the hips gently the opposite direction, stretching the left side of our torso. 
and slowly walk your hands back to the center. The opposite way, pressing the hips gently to the right side. And then slowly walk your hands back to the center. You can take your knees a little bit wider apart. Bring the toes together and rest on your forearms or maybe bring the chest closer even to the mat. You can cross your arms and rest your forehead down. Take a nice few deep breaths. And then slowly make your way back to your knees, sit on your knees, roll the shoulders up and back, bring your arms together, interlace your fingers behind you, lift the chest and gently roll the head from side to side. And then release, lift the shoulders. Thank you very much. Namaste.